welcome this is a review of the interim assessment um, we can access the interim assessment files using this link so let's open the link okay so um, there are two files here we have what XYZ company limited which is um, a txt file and then we have a PDF file the PDF file contains the interim assessment questions yeah, but um, at this point, I'll just entreat that um, you download the TXT file um, and keep it somewhere, whether desktop or any other what, um, drive in your PC. Okay, so um, this is a preview of the interim assessment questions. Okay, so let's look at the TXT file as well. Yeah, so I have downloaded them onto my desktop so I wouldn't be downloading them again okay so this is it okay all right so we'll read the instructions the attached text file XYZ limited is an executable SQL script containing workers information at XYZ company limited execute the script on my SQL workbench and use it to answer the following questions for each question, provide both the SQL code and a snapshot of your output. You may use Windows Snipping Tool or any other alternative for your snapshots. So this is the instruction. It means we should go to our workbench. Yeah, so let me open my workbench here. Okay, so whilst we wait for the workbench to open, we can be looking at um, question one. So question one um, reads, Kwame Asari is a worker in the HR department of XYZ Company Limited, writes an SQL command to replace his name and ID with your own details. Use your student ID for his worker ID. So this is the question. So it's obviously about what um, updating um, the database called um, XYZ Company Limited database. So it's about what um, updating that database, and yeah, you want to update the workers table in that database. Okay, yeah. So um, let me see. The workbench is taking some time to open. Let me try it again. Okay. All right. So it's opening. Okay, so um, I've already created what um, the IA connection for this review, so I'm going to dive into that connection. And then once um, you get in, um, we can what run the TXT file um, on the yeah query pane we can run it there yeah so it's just by what um, browsing and then locating the file so wherever you have stored the file you go and then pick it from there okay so um i have it here already let me close that okay close this all right let me open a new script and begin yeah so um let's go to file open sql script yeah, so I have the XYZ script on my desktop, so um, I'll browse my desktop, okay? Yeah, so this is it. Alright, so um, once you pick it up um, to the query pane, um, yeah, you don't have to do anything else. Um, everything has been prepared, so you can just go ahead to uh, execute it, okay? So let's execute. Um, so normally you use the first execution button if you have to execute an entire code. This particular code contains both what um, the tables and the data entry itself. Okay. Yeah, so if you scroll down, you find that um, after each table, um, then the data entry follows. Okay. So insert into worker. Yeah, so this is going to insert into what um, the worker table that is created above here. So create table worker. Then you go down and then you insert data into what worker. So you can actually what um, do everything in one single script. 
or you may also decide to have to separate the tables from what the data entry okay so now um, we have our, our database created um, the next thing we want to do is to what, um, familiarize ourselves with the database so we can start by what um, showing tables All right, let me zoom that out a bit okay all right so um let's show tables this is going to show us all the tables we have in what um the xyz company database okay so we have what three tables there the bonus title and the worker table all right and then um let's take a look at the question once more so the question yeah reads Kwame Asari is a worker. Okay, so that tells us that we should look at what the worker table, okay? Yeah, and then um, what are we to do? We have to write an SQL command to replace um, that particular worker um, which your own name and then your ID, okay? Yeah, so your name means your first name and last name and so on. So let's um, go to the workbench and then we'll look at all the records in the worker table so let's return all the records in the worker table so that we can see if we can identify the particular employee we are trying to replace that is Kwame Asare so um, let's select um, all from worker and then we can execute that all right, so now we have what all the records from the worker table, okay? Yeah, so worker ID, first name, last name. Yeah, so these are the particular fields we want to add, um, yeah, we want to update, yeah, for Kwame Asari, okay? So we'll replace Kwame Asari's details with our own details here, okay? So let's start by what um, writing our updates. Yeah, command so update worker then we'll set worker ID so let me put that in okay, so let's set worker ID to okay I'm going to just say um, 100 800 so that is a worker id then um the last name sorry let's start with the first name so equal to <coughs> so i'm going to put my name here Then also the last name, so that should be equal to, okay. All right, so now um, this is it, um, but yeah, there is one more thing left because if we do this, um, execute it this way, it's going to add, um, update all the names yeah with my name and then what's uh, my first name and last name and then the worker id that's what is going to happen yeah yes yeah, so and um, we don't want that so we should what specify because in the question um they are specifically referring to kwame asari and kwame asari worker id is one so we bring what the condition here so where worker id So where the worker ID equal to one, okay. Yeah. So um, this should do it for us, but still, it's, it's not going to run because um, yeah, there are three tables that are linked to each other. Okay. Yeah, and then um, yeah, 
you cannot delete um, the, the the primary key yeah once it is linked to other tables you can do that okay yeah so let's execute it and then we'll see what I'm talking about all right so you can see that um, cannot delete or update parent role yeah foreign key constraint fails okay yeah so what they want us to do is that um, we have to what delete um, the records for Kwame Asari in the other two tables in the other two child tables before we come to do it in the parent table that is what they want so it means um, the other two tables that is um, yeah, the bonus and the titles table we will have to what, write a separate code to what, to delete the records in those tables for Kwame Asari in particular before we can now come to what execute this code and it will work okay so we are going to leave this code here we'll go and then delete from what um yeah we're going to delete from the bonus and then the title table before we come to execute this yeah and even apart from that um if you still wanted to what, um, go ahead and then execute it then you have to what <coughs> You have to get rid of what um, the worker ID. So um, if we take off what the primary key, then the update is going to be successful. So let me take off the primary key and let's look at it. All right. So you can see that um, it has been updated. Let's select all from worker and then you will see the changes have been effected. Yeah. So you can now see the first name is my name. And then the last name is also my name but we haven't been able to change the worker id because if we try to change it it is a parent what table and this is a primary key which is linked to what other tables so it means um because of the cascading effect we should go and what um delete from what the child table before because once we delete um from the parent table it means there will be children that have no parent yeah so the rule is that if you go and what get rid of the children before you get rid of the parents that is what it means here yeah so it doesn't allow you to have what children that have no parent i mean every child should have a parent or every child came from a parent so that is the logic there okay so let's um, now we've seen the update okay <clears throat> now we can what um, delete from what the bonuses table first so let's say delete from yeah, so delete from um let's say um yeah bonus yeah Where, um, so let, let's look at the bonuses table before we even delete I think that will be the best thing to do okay so before deleting <coughs> we can select all from what um, the bonuses table so this is the bonus table so um, what we want to delete is what the worker ref id we have to delete the worker ref id yeah because that is linked to what the worker id so um let me pin this particular table here then let's also select all from title so that is the the third table execute that as well yeah so this is also what um, the title table I'm also going to pin that so um, with that one as well um, we are interested in deleting the worker ref ID for um, Kwame Asari so let's pin this as well so let me just copy the field name here and then now let's begin the delete so delete from Uh, 
now we're deleting from what um, let me delete from bonuses first so the condition is that where worker ref equal to one so where worker um, ref id equal to one so let's delete that so now that is deleted then we will do the same thing for the titles table so um, delete yeah, from title yeah, then we'll say where worker ref equal to one So let's execute this as well. All right, so that is also deleted. So now it means our primary key in the parent table, that is Kwame Asari's worker ID is now free. And then we can what? Update Kwame Asari worker ID. So um, if you want, um, you can use what? Um, this same updates, or you can just update only the worker ID. But I want us to put everything in one command, okay? Yeah, I want us to put everything in one command. So um, update worker, set um, worker ID. So we are going to set the worker ID. Let's set it to um, one. Okay. Then we'll put a comma there. Then um, let me break it from the last name so that we'll see everything. Okay. Now um, let's bring the condition. So the condition is that where worker ID where worker ID equal to one. So this should update the table um, for us. So it will update the worker ID. Okay. So we are we are not setting worker ID to one. Let's set it to a two. Then your student ID, not one. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm assuming that I mean your student ID could be something like this. So let me put that in quotes. All right. Yeah, so update um, worker, set worker ID equal to your own ID, then um, set your face name um, to your face name here, last name to your last name, where worker ID equal to one. So um, this should what work this time around. So you can see that the update is now effected and we can what select all from worker and then you see that um, we have updated everything okay so select all from what um, the worker table okay all right yeah so after selecting all from the worker table because we've changed the number you can see that um it has gone to the bottom of what i mean the database so this is the um this is supposed to be your student id your name yeah your first name and the last name so um this is what we want you to do so after doing this um you have to take a snapshot of what i mean this particular uh, output here so you can use your snipping tool to take the snapshot So um, just take it so close so that um, it can be really legible, okay? Yeah, so you can just take something like this. Make sure um, the part um, that you have updated is showing, okay? All right, so this is it <coughs> for question one. So I'm going to copy it to a Word document. And then um, once... 
you get to the word document you just write the question number and then you copy the code paste it there and then um, with the snapshot below it yeah so that is um if we are to do an online exam that is what i'll be expecting from you okay yeah so i, I could see a lot of you made uh, mistakes um with the interim assessment so uh, so this is question one let me paste So now I'm going to copy the code as well. So update um, worker. So this is the code. And then you paste the code there as well. Okay, so it's right here. Okay, so this is what I'll be expecting from you. <coughs> yeah so that is for question one so now let's go to question two okay, so go and read question two um write a query to generate a list of the top three most paid workers in xyz company limited indicate their names salaries and departments um the top what um, three most paid employees in xyz um company you are asked what to indicate yeah, their names um salaries and departments okay yeah so um yeah so first of all you have to identify the table you should be working from okay most paid workers in what um the um in XYZ company so let's look at the worker table whether it is um, appropriate for this question so let me go down so let, let's select all from worker okay so I have it there already yeah so we have their salaries in the worker table so that is what we are looking for and then um, the action has to us to return the salary department and um, what else yeah and their names salaries and departments okay yeah so we are going to start by what i'm um, selecting yeah so let me just push it down a bit so let's select um name so that will be the first name yeah, so let me put everything in caps as it is captured Okay, so select first name yeah so this time you can see that we are not selecting all so it's not all the time you always have to select all so sometimes when they ask you to indicate then um, you have to add select specific okay yeah first name last name salary and then departments okay so we have that here So we are done with the selection okay um and then we are looking for what um, the three most paid employees okay yeah so um, let's indicate the table we are selecting from so from what um worker that's the name of the table yeah now let's bring our condition so let me just go to the next line so where Yeah, so we want the top three most paid so you may not even need to bring where we can just begin by ordering it by yeah so order by um salary okay. so we are ordering by salary and then um we want it in what um yeah uh, top three so it should be what in descending order okay so descending and then we'll limit it to what to three so we need only the top three so limit three okay, so 
So this is going to give us the top three most speeds. Yeah. So let's execute it. Okay, so um, these are the top three most paid employees in what um, XYZ company. Okay, so what you do is that you copy this and then um, you take it to your word. Yeah, paste the code. And then um, you go to take the snapshots and then you paste it right below. So it's as easy as that. So let's take the snapshot as well. So this is what, what are we expecting? Okay, if it is an online exam. make sure every question you have the code and then there's output there for us so now um, let's go to question three okay, let's look at the question so question three is asking you to um, write a query to compute the average salary in XYZ company limited so that is just straightforward so we we'll use the average function to do that all right, so um, we are going to select um, average. Yeah, so once they say average salary, then we we'll have to put the salary there. Yeah. So we'll bring our alias here. So as what average salary. I will have to put this in quotes. Yeah, so as average salary. Yeah, then from what um, which table? That will be what um the worker table. So from worker. Okay, so this will compute the average for us. Average salary. Okay, so we have the average salary to be what? Um, yeah, 2,306.25. Yeah, so whatever currency you are dealing with, then yeah, it doesn't really matter yet. Okay, so now um, this is the code for question three. Let me copy it. Then I'll take the snapshot for question three as well. Okay, so let's go to question four. May do up to question five and then um, leave the rest for another video i don't intend to but i mean make the videos very long okay so let's answer question four um then five and then we'll leave the remaining five for what, another day okay so um let's get back to the questions okay so what is question four saying yeah, write a query to return the names, salaries, and department of um, bottom uh, five lowest paid workers in XYZ company. So we need what three things here: um, the names, salaries, and department of the bottom what um, five lowest uh, lowest paid workers in XYZ company. Yeah, so it's going to be similar to what. Um, uh, question two yeah just that this one um, had to do with what um, the lowest paid salary five of them so we are going to what, um, select um, the name so that will be what um, first name last name Mm 
but even with this one um you may also it's not all the time that you should just be what um separating the first name and last name because even in the question they are saying we should what retain the name okay yes yeah, so once they say that they give room for you to what, put the name together so we can put the name together using the concatenation function so we are going to select what um concats yeah so inside the concatenation function then we'll bring what um last name okay so, uh, sorry let's bring the first name okay and then um put a comma here and then let's put some space in between the names Put another comma here then we'll bring the last name okay. so this will put the names together for us yeah then um, we are also asked to select let's look at the question once more yeah the name salaries and departments so we need to bring the salaries and departments Let's also bring the salary and department. Okay. So from which table? So from um, the table called what um, worker. Okay. Now uh, let's bring the condition below here. So um, where? So sorry, we don't need to bring condition. Um, we need to just order it by. Okay, so let's order by. All right. So order by um, salary. And then um, this time it's ascending because we are looking for the bottom of five. So let's go for ascending. Okay, so um, ascending, then you what? Limit it by 5 and that is it. So limit 5. So let's execute that. And then we have it here. Okay. Yeah, so um, the concatenation, um, you can see um, the, the heading yeah, is some way. Okay, so let's. Um, fix that because they are saying the heading is what concat first name and so what, what does that mean yeah so we'll bring the alias here so as what um, full name okay so we can just call that full name okay so I'll put that in quotes yeah. all right so let's execute it once more Okay, so we have the full name to be what? Um, yeah, we have John Arma, the salary is 750. Yeah, so you can see these are the um, lowest five what um, paid workers in what um, in XYZ company. They are the um, bottom what um, five low paid employees in that company. All right. Now let's go to what, um, okay, let me copy the code and then take a snapshot. So that is for question four. And then let's bring the snapshot below. This is it. All right, so let's answer the last one and then we can take a break. Yeah, so that is question five. Let me read it out. Write an SQL query to compute the total number of females 
and female workers in XYZ company. Okay, so we want to compute the total number of males and females in XYZ company. Yeah, so um, this again, you have to identify the table you should be working from, and then um, I want to believe is the workers table. Okay, yeah, so um, we can always take a look at that. So select all from worker. Let me just write the code here to select all from what worker. So anytime you are just not sure of the table you should what um, work from, you can always select all what yeah, from that table just to be sure. Okay. Okay. So um, this is the worker table. And then um, yeah, the question is asking us to compute um, the females and males. So you can see we have gender in the um, worker table. So it means we can compute the number of males and females. Okay. All right. So let's do the computation here. So we're going to select. Uh, then we'll count. Um, gender so let's count gender so we are counting gender okay um, we can bring the alias so us um, let's say So let's say number of what um, employees or number of workers rather okay okay then um, we are also interested uh, not only in the count of what um, the gender but um, let's see yeah So we are also interested in the gender groups itself. So we'll also have to bring out the gender here. Okay, so that is a gender. And then um, let's say from what worker, that's the name of the table. So from worker. And this time we are going to what? group them by okay we are going to group them by gender okay so group by gender okay so um let's execute it okay so you can see that um it has what counted the number of what um workers for each gender group so for males we have eight and then for females we have eight so let's copy um the code paste it um, onto the answer sheets then we'll come and take um, the snapshot as well So I'm going to um, end it here and then um, the rest of the five um, will answer them in a separate video. Okay, so um, this is it. Um, this is what you were expected to do. Let me push this one down here. Um, this is what you were expected to do. So you write the code and then paste the snapshot below. Okay. All right, so um, if you've not subscribed, um, please do subscribe. I appreciate that a lot. Um, th those of you that have subscribed already, I appreciate your, your subscription. And then um, see you in the next video.